Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg is Kim to throw first. Game on. It's time for someone to step up and make their mark in 2016. Will it be Hurricane Hybrex or the gentle Mansour Sulevich? 100. Well, Hybrex has been pretty devastating today. He's dropped just five legs in his three matches played so far today. Robbie Green, 6-2 in the third round in the afternoon session. 6-1 against Dragutin Horvat in the quarters. Benito van der Paz, 6-2 in the semi-finals. On that evidence, you'd have to argue that he is the favorite here. Points on the floor there, but Mensor Sulevic just has something about him this weekend once again. He's got that look in his eye. And again, he hasn't been troubled too much. OK, there was the 6-5 win over Jelle Klassen in the afternoon session. All 11 legs went with a throw. Mensor sealed it with his trademark double 14. But plain sailing for him as well in the evening session. Jordi Movisa, 6-1 in the quarters. James Wilson, 6-1 in the semis. 43. And it's all been typical, typical Mensor Silovic stuff. It has been, and funnily enough, I did my calculations in the break between the semis and the final. Both guys have played exactly the same amount of legs on that stage this weekend. So, we said that Hybrex had an advantage 100. in the last game because he played less legs, had been under less stress, but these guys essentially have been through the mill the same way. So it should be very even. Kim Hybrex with the 180 on his throw, closing in for the first leg, 58 points away. Mensor Sulevich looking to respond in kind here and going the right way about it so far. Switching to the 25s to leave himself 56. He might not get the opportunity. Tops then for Kim for a 1-0 lead. Just nudging the wire. And that one finds the bed and you can Kim see what it means well, to the Hurricane. We can see what kind of a game Hybrex is going to bring to this final. First blood to the Belgian. And he is not going to shy away from the fact that he is not the crowd favourite here. Sulevich is definitely that. But Hybrex doesn't care. He wants another European title and he wants a title for the first time in 2016. Once again, the crowd playing their part here in Reset. Terrific atmosphere all day today. Great stuff all weekend from the crowd. Record crowd on Saturday night as well, 3,511. We're just still crunching the numbers as far as today's attendance is concerned, but it will be there or thereabouts anyway. And you can see in the distance there, in the horizon over Sulevich's shoulder, they're standing in the aisles. They want to see who the champion is going to be at the moment. Hybrechts is in front, but on his throw, he held. This is Sulevich's throw. He's in front. It's going to the script at the moment. I think the major difference between the two, we, we mentioned that they play the same amount of legs over the course of this week, but will the experience of being in finals and winning in finals, especially on the European Tour final stage, for Kim Hybrex, will that be his biggest advantage? I believe it will be because Mensur this is Sulevich's first final in the PDC. Kim has got more titles to his name throughout the course of his entire career. So I believe he should be favourite on that basis. But will the crowd be in favour of Sulevich? Will that make it a little bit more even? 16. And you could also argue by the same token, just to back that up, that Mensur Sulevich just might have this issue having had so many semi-final appearances 51. having broken the duck and finally and made it through to his first elusive four. pdc tour final will that prove to be a barrier he's already achieved one big objective can he achieve another by going on to win obviously it's not enough for him to make the final he wants to go on he wants to kick on and get the first prize here tops for sulevic tops he doesn't get for a moment there, I thought he was going to go bull for bull. But a bit more conventional. Went for 14 in tops. Kim can leave 170 with a single 20 here. 65. Just in case Sulevic messes around with double 10. You're in a final. You're in an unknown quantity. 
So let's see what you've got. Sulevich. Two Ooh. fives. Well, well, well. And it's there in the end, and uh, it means a lot to him because it was a remote danger for Hybrids to take out the 170 if uh, Sulovic fluffed his lines there. In, yeah. in penalty terms, that double five was bottom left of the, of the goal. And the keeper got a hand to it as well. He certainly did. Look at Sulovic when he hit his zip to say, my God, I'm just glad that went in. Yeah, Sulovic reached his first major TV semi-final at the World Grand Prix in October of last year. He ended the year by reaching the last four of the Players' Championship finals, losing to Adrian Lewis. Made the semi-finals of a UK Open qualifier as well earlier this year, and also the semi-finals in Venray. So many semi-finals, he's finally through to a final. Can he go one stage further? Kim Hybrex will be hoping not. Absolutely right, Rob. And looking forward to the Grand Prix, obviously not... You know, looking too far ahead because he wants to win this, but Sulevic is going to be one big danger in Dublin. I know that for a fact. Nobody is going to want to play him there. He is deadly on doubles. Yeah, that knack of just getting in and out on the 14. It was uh, very productive for him, but like you say, he's got uh, a few issues to contend with first before he starts thinking about that. Well, his confidence 50. is going to be sky high already, but it'll be even higher if he can take a trophy back to Austria and then get himself running into Mulheim and then potentially into Sindelfingen. So much money and prizes on offer in this month. If you can win this tournament and get that confidence going into next week, 100. you could clean up this month. You really could. Yeah. And absolutely sail up those rankings. Mm, Hybrich's just losing his way here momentarily. Sulevich well, might have an opportunity, but Hybrich does find a treble. But this leg is still in the balance you feel. Hybrex, by the way, produced the day's highest average yesterday, 104 and a half as he beat Joe Cullen. He'll be hoping for something similar here to stand as big a chance as possible of seeing off Mensor Sulevic. And he is a very difficult player to shake off. When he gets his teeth into it. Yeah, he's like a vampire. He will keep sucking your blood. Well, thinking there was 57 tops, tops. 97. Well, Sulevic loves 96. this. Uh, took out double 18 twice in his semi-final. If he finds the treble 20, that will be the route to glory here. And it will be the route to a break of throw and a 2-1 lead. And listen to that from the crowd. It will get noisier in a minute if Sulevic takes this one out. Yeah, and there we go. There is the break. That's it's a 2-1 lead. It's double 18 Four, once again. And do you know what? Mentor Sulevic... He has a bit of an unfair reputation as a one-trick pony on. with this over-reliance or this seemingly over-reliance on double 14. Don't have any of that because in that semi-final when he beat James Wilson, he had double two, double eight, double 14, double 18, double 16 for a 5-0 lead and then he wraps it up with double 18. So twice double 18 came to his rescue in the semi-finals and he did it there as well. He is a very capable and a very versatile player. Absolutely right. I think the reputation of double 14 has been... Over -egged, it, yeah. Totally over overdone, One and we may have been uh, we, we play along with totally it, yeah. guilty with that. But one thing we have seen with Sulevich, the more games he plays on this stage and on the Pro Tour and TV, is that he proves to us that he has a lot more in his locker. And well said, Rob. The plethora, the range that he had in that semi-final is to be admired. As is my research. <laughs> As it is. <laughs> Hybrex three six one. Looking to make a big indentation here, going the right way about it. 140. 140. Well, again, we said before he won't be panicking because he's been in tricky situations many times, even this weekend against Joe Cullen in the second round when he was in a spot of bother. Came up with an 11 dart leg to get it back to 5 all. It's in those spots, in those games, you find out who you really are. And we know that Kim can scrap. We know that Sulevich can as well, so we've got two real battlers on this stage. Well, 89. good use of the bullseye. I thought he was going to go 18s there, but that bullseye has given him a more realistic shot at 1-3-2. 67 the cushion here, and he's down to a finish first. But Sulevich will be looking to get below a ton here, and he's going the right way about it. Good ball here. 82 remaining. Sulevich is just double-checking with Paul Inks, and... Yeah, Ball would leave double 16, but he has the backup plan as well for 25 just in case. 
There we go. Wow, what a beauty. That's one way to do it. Kim's going to the ball as well. Needs a 57 now. Got to 57. Bullseye. Has the marker. It's there. He's crediting. What a moment that is. Champagne stuff from Kim Ibrex. Mensor Silovic, I don't think he can believe it. I did not think there was the room there. It looked a little bit too clustered with the flight that was in the way, but he found a way through. Well, he found a way through. Excellent darts from Hybrex, but afterwards, the celebration and eggs the crowd on as if to say, I'm here too. Oh, who's the bad boy of darts now? I think it's Kim Hybrex. He can handle it. Treble 19, ball after the opening 25 with Sulevic waiting to pounce on 32. Make no mistake, the crowd are going to get on Kim's back now. And I've got a funny feeling it might make him better. Well, he said before, didn't he? He said it in his post-match interview with Elma Polka earlier on. 140. I know, something he thrives on. Make him angry, that's what he wants. He's like the Hulk. You're not supposed to make him angry, but my God, when he does, it's something to watch. That 1-3-2 was nothing short of magic. And this could be more magic from Mensor Sulevic. Still waiting for his first maximum in this match. Hybrex has one. Do you remember, Sulevic, sorry. Do you remember last year when Hybrex won in Sindelfingen, the right. celebration? <laughs> it was a special moment. Oh, it was a Dean Win Stanley special. Used all of the stage. He's looking for another one of those today. Yeah, he must have covered the miles when he celebrated that one. I think he'll put in some yards as well if he gets over the line here, but he can't start thinking about that just yet. Sulevich has averaged, by the way, 106, plays 94. But we're level at two apiece. That's the all-important stat. Not a time to be overly concerned with averages and checkout stats here. It's all about getting the job done and holding your nerve. It's a psychological battle more than anything else, this one. Yeah, it is. Trouble 17, now looking at trouble 14, double 16 for a 12 dart break. 59. Still got chances, Hybrex on his throw, languished on 176, can put a big hole in it and will, will, well should leave tops, but Sulevich's yeah. scoring power in this leg has given him this opportunity to break straight back after that mesmeric finish from Hybrex. Could be on course for a third successive break of throw here. Stand up if you love the darts. Mensor Sulevic not standing on ceremony there. It is a third successive break and it is 3-2. Now, one thing we haven't mentioned is the fact that these guys have got the same manager. Mac Elkin has been looking after these guys for a little while. Kim a little bit longer than Mensur. But he's probably in the crowd thinking, I don't know where to look, I don't know what to support. He just wants his guys to play well, and they are doing yeah. that. First 180 of the match sees the average creep up to 108.21. The first nine average from Sulevic, very, very healthy indeed. Hybrex can't live with him as far as those figures are concerned. It's very surprising considering the scoring power that Hybrex has had through this tournament, but it seems like Sulevic has just brought it at the right time. Well... He's in danger of halving that, though, if he fails to find one here. He's got the ton. I'm going back to Sindelfingen last year where Kim did win. He came back from the brink. That tournament was gone, 100. it was done, it was dusted. But he fought so hard and finally edged Peter Wright in the end. He might find himself having to do exactly the same if Mensah keeps scoring the way he is. And he is, dude. One hundred and five. He's used the bull a lot on his anchor dart in this match so far. It's working a treat. Yeah, it's a good effect in the main. Ninety-three. Well, well, can't quite live with Sulevich in this leg either, and the opportunities are running out for Kim Hybrex here. If Sulevich takes this one out for a four-two lead, one-one-six. Not in the triple twenty bet, despite what some of the crowd think. 76 away then. 88. Well, that's set it up absolutely perfectly for his double 14, his favourite finish. I'm going to have to start having a go at treble 16 for double 14. 
18. Seems to work pretty well. Well, there are those who say he could do this with his eyes closed. There's the danger we fall into, the trap we fall into of saying it so often, but he does love double 14. It is his favourite. And he's not taking it there, though. Good gate. And the crowd go mad. It's a big hit, that. Look what Hybrex was on. He was sitting on 132. And he might be sitting on 3-2-1 in a minute here. He needs to give himself a, just an injection of something just to get him going, just to give him a platform on which to build and launch a counter-attack because he's very much on the ropes here. Well, the scoring power of Sulevich in this match, is it's almost like in a karate fight. He's just taking his legs from under him. He just can't do anything about it at the moment. Needs trebles. Gets one. In this match, it's not just about ton visits. They're not good enough. Sulevich is making sure of that. Yeah, the average still very healthy, 105.4. Hybrex has crept up slightly to 95. 55. But uh, maybe, just maybe, one or two signs of edginess creeping into Sulevich's game here, and Hybrex perhaps seizing upon that. I've noticed as well, when Sulevich gets a bit more edgy, I noticed it in the semi-final, he loops his shoulder a bit more, and tries to get it over the top, and it doesn't always work. More joy in the 19s there for Hybrex, seven of them down to 1-3-2. Again. Again. Sulevich. 100. On 2 4 power, 6. Now, this would be just a holder throw for Kim Heinrichs, but a very important one as well because it would stop the rot. 5 2 down would be perhaps insurmountable, in and a 1 3 power. 2 checkout will do very, very nicely indeed hey, ladies, for Kim Heinrichs. Well, the second time he's taken it out, slightly very, varying route, a different route to the uh, glory before. Finished on the ball in his first instance. Double 12 that time, doesn't matter which way you do it. Well, if he keeps doing that, 132 is going to be the Hybrex number. The other one had a bit more fireworks to it because of the situation he was in, but that was effortless. And he has kicked in now. One out of He's putting more pressure on the Sulevich throw, and he needs to. So if he doesn't break the Austrian, he's not going to win this tournament. Well, well, we've seen some incredible stuff this weekend. I just feel like there's another twist left. Yeah, you do. And it could be here 60. because Hybrix had an advantage of 40 there. Sulevich only posted 60. And can Kim kick on? He's looking to do precisely that. He's got one treble. He'd love another. And he's got what precisely that now. That's back-to-back -to -back ton 40s. A 120 cushion on the Sulevich throw. He's won over the darts here. And there we see those averages have sort of evened themselves out, especially the overall average. 60. The ton average is good enough in most games, but this is a European Tour final. These are two guys who desperately want to win for slightly different reasons. Menza Sulevich. 19s again from Hybrex. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. And Sulevich wants to get on that honour roll so badly. He's waited long enough, he thinks, but Hybrex wants more titles. Well, the wheels are falling off here for Mensur. 87 for Hybrex to break back. Double eight for 4-4. Four, four. Coming back, there were no stress. No bother at all. Well, there will be if Sulevich rattles in a ton 80 here or so. If, if you spoke to these guys right now and said, they told you they're not tired, what? they're lying. It's been a long, 16. long day. And it's a immensely draining final as well. We are level once again. That 1 3 2 checkout in leg seven has really seen Hybrex kick on here. He's got a huge amount of self belief now. Yeah, he's the one who's got the bit between his teeth. Sulevic has let a two leg lead slip. And Hybrex is back in this final. Best of three to see who takes the IDO Risa 2016 title. It's a loud crowd, but I'll tell you what, at the moment, there's a lot of people in this crowd who are biting their fingernails. Because they want to see their respective man do the job. Most of them siding with Sulevich. 
Ibrex. And then works so hard to get that break back. It's really difficult to keep your composure in these finals. I've been in two of them, and my word, you do get jittery. Now, if Sulevich can post a ton 40 at least here, the impetus would be back with him. Mm, well, well, well. Not quite enough, you feel. Hydrex, plenty of room for two more. Still room in the middle there for one more, but it'll come downstairs for 19s instead, but he misses the treble 19 on this occasion, almost uncharacteristically. Yeah, interesting he didn't go for the treble 17 there. I thought he might want to try and get the 51 to square it up, but it might be good enough if Sulevich doesn't hit any 60s yet. Bit loopy again. Yeah, that one's pitched even lower. Heinbrecht's hoping Sulevich fluffs his lines, and he has done. Now, okay. Further and further down on that occasion. What have you got? This is the opportunity he wanted. He's in front. It's his throw. 134. That's a big, big visit. Because that puts huge pressure on Sulevich. That's what he needs. He needs two more of those. A 140 would be very handy. Oh, oh, he's straight into the 85s, and that's awkward. 68 then for Hybrex for a 5 4 lead. Well, could have done without that. Needs to tidy this up. Oh, and he has done beautifully, and it's double 12 he 44. wants. He's going for treble 12 for double 16. Gave himself a shot at a double. Well, this will be the finish of the weekend if he hits it. Treble 13. Oh, oh, it was close. It was desperately 91. close. Absolutely. So, double 12 for Kim. There we go. 4 2 down. 5 4 up. Slightly got away with it to some extent there, did Kim Hybrex. But he has got his nose in front, and all the pressure in the world is on the shoulders of Mensor Sulevich right now. Throwing first here to save his bacon in this 10th leg. 100. Good turn in the end. Hybrex will be looking to pile that pressure on. He's been here before, knows how to win. But it doesn't matter who you are. 59. You feel a bit jittery when you get close to that white line. Yeah, then again, he does. It might count for very little, actually, given the circumstances, but he does have the insurance policy of throwing first in the deciding leg. If we go that far, we may well do if Sulevic fills this up. Straight into the one with that deflected dart. Oh, he's got the advantage now, being 162 in front. Yeah, room for one more there as well. 96. Just four 19s, though. Yeah, this is definitely going to be 5 5 in my view, unless Sulevic messes up a bit. It doesn't look like he's going to do that. This is going to go all the way. Yep. I'm getting jittery thinking about it. I've got no what idea who's going to win this match. And that's the best way sometimes. And a deciding leg, the most perfect way to settle and bring an end to what has been 96. an absolutely wonderful Let's tournament here in Risa. Mentor Sulevic, 140 away, Hybrex on 250, Sulevic then closing in and taking us to an 11th and deciding leg. Just 60 score, but Hybrex still has work to do. Work to do. He'll want to get a 140 here, just in case Sulevic can't take the 80 out. 100. Oh, that's a mm. bog standard minimum 80. of what he needed. At least he's got a finish. He has taken out a couple of big ones already in this match. Single 20 will leave tops. Tops it is. For a level game and sudden death. 60. Give you a call. What a way to finish this would be. Well, double 10 is what he needs. That was not one of the doubles he took out in the semi-final that I referred to earlier. He was going for two treble 19s and double 18. That's a popular finish among the pros. 64. But will he get a shot at 86? Sulevic. Two tens. Two tens and he's going all the way, folks. Two or three minutes time, we're going to be lifting a trophy after sudden death. Couldn't be any better. Poise, Rob Malogi. Well, fasten your seatbelts. Take a deep breath. Because this could be explosive. And Hybrex absolutely loves that. That'll do. That will do. Especially if Sulevic can't beat it. Well, having that throw in the last leg is mm. enormous right now, especially when you start 45. with a 1-3-4. Collective gasp in the 
arena here, the Saxon Arena, as Subovic posts a 45. Can Hybrex jump all over that? So far, no, he can't. Comes down to the 19th to good effect. That's been Trims it down to 270. He has the cushion. Whoa. Sulovic has it all to do. Best friend all weekend, treble 19. So God. many times, so many times, treble 19 has come to his rescue. 59. 59 again from Sulovic. It's all going wrong at the worst possible moment for him. And Hybrex at last has found a treble 20. Straight ton will do. Well, that's even better. Now he can breathe a bit. He certainly can. He has 267 in hand here. And Sulovic, the shake of the head, tells its own story. The five once again, another gasp. 45. And it's another Kimberly visit of 45. And this is just playing into the hands of Kim Hybrex here. He can't believe his look. He's absolutely rubbing his hands in prospects because he's been gifted the opportunity to win this title. He's down to 72. Sulovic is well adrift, 280 behind. And again, he's not making any significant inroads here. OK, Kimberly he's trimmed 100 72. off, but it's still a very, very big gap indeed. Kim Hybrex. 52 points away, double 16 he wants for the title, Kim Hybrex. 56. The champagne's on hold, for now. For now, Sulevich has pretty much given up the ghost. What he needs to do is try and leave a finish just in case. But I tell you what, 60. Kim Give Hybrex loves this corner of the board, is not messing around, double eight. Oh. Inside, slight right shift, and it's double four now for Hybrex. Well not over yet, folks. The agony goes on. OK, Sulevich is on 192, but Hybrex does not want to find himself in the madhouse, especially if Sulevich puts the pressure on here. He's got 80 on the board. Oh, well, that's supplied a lot of pressure. Kim Hybrex, this is your moment. It's nudge the wire. Slight shuffle to the left-hand side. Oh, he is in the madhouse. Would you believe it? What a way to settle it. He's bust his score. And Sulevich will come back on 52. And he will take a big glug of water here. And he'll listen to the cheers of the crowd before he returns to the hockey. What brilliant, brilliant drama. Kim Hybrex must be feeling absolutely sick as a dog here. Well, Mensa can't believe his luck. He'd given up on the entire thing. He was just flinging those darts, thinking, right, it's all over. Now it's Kim Hybrex who thinks it's all over. Is it? Double, Double 16, 16 for Mensor Sulovic. Yeah. And the title, and there it is. Mensor Sulovic sinks to his knees. He has added his name to the European Tour's Roll of Honor. It'll be very, very difficult for Kim Hybrex to get over that. He has lost the final 6-5, and Mensor Sulovic so many times the nearly man having had so many opportunities to make the final at the PDC Tour events. He's not only done that, he's actually won one as well. And he is absolutely thrilled to bits.